Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. So, I want to start off with Carly, and I think that chick's name is Denise or something. Anyway, <laughs> the reason why I like this scene so much is because Carly is trying to justify her BS reason of why, oh, you know, she's keeping alive from Willow and stuff like that. Oh, it's for her. It's in her best interest, this, that, and the third to this woman. And, you know, she asked the woman about the story, like, what's the story that you told? And she's like, yeah, you know, I told her about this woman named Joan and she died and everything like that. And, you know, that pretty much just kind of ended that. And Carly was like, uh, no, no. What, 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 what about the dad? The, the whole point, you, you left out the dad point. The whole point of you coming here and, and you know, you doing this, this way he doesn't sit there and start looking. And she was pretty much like, oh, the dad. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah that's going to cost you extra. <laughs> right then and there, I laughed so hard. I'm like, Carly... <sighs> This is karma right here. This is karma right here. Going behind Willow's back. Well, not even so much going behind Willow's back, but lying to Willow. Um, keeping another child away from another parent. And now you're dealing with somebody who is extorting you. And so now at this point, this woman's like, oh, okay, cool. So how about this? How about if I don't get the money? And I'll just go back to um, Drew, and I'll tell him everything. And then I'll sit there and go to Willow, and then I'll tell her everything. She was all like, I'm not made out of money. I was like, well, you, boo, you better you better grow a money tree or something. You better you better wish upon a star. I don't, I don't care what you got to do. You better find a way to come up with some funds. So, <clears throat> normally I'm not a fan of blackmail. But in Carly's case, it was so worth it. it. And I'm a Carly fan. And I'm like, what you're doing is wrong. What you're doing, Point Blake, is wrong. And this is just a little small taste of, um, you know, her karma. Because the big karma, oof, it comes in. This is going to be great. And I am so looking forward to it. Um, Drew told Willow that, you know, um, her birth mother, whatever, died, and, but, you know, we're going to sit down and figure out, you know, how to find her dad and everything like that, so Willow's like, you know, I need a minute, she goes outside, she starts crying, um, Drew follows behind her, and it's freezing outside, he, you know, she, he can, he can hear that she's still crying, you know, he can hear the, the tears and her voice and everything like that. He knows there's something up with her. He takes a look at her, and then he starts to think about all those other times, those other interactions, and why this search is so important. And he thinks about his son, he's like, you're sick. So, you know, she tells him the whole story and everything like that, and then she swears to him the secrecy. So now... You know, he can't even sit there and tell Carly, and Carly can't even sit there and be like, oh, man, you know, I really don't like Nina, but I don't want Willow to die. So. Yeah. Carly comes back, smiling in this girl's face and everything, and, um, it's just a, uh, it's just kind of an ugly sight, but, I want to talk about. I want to talk about Nick for a minute. Oh, get out, Nicholas. So Ava comes over and she wants to talk about, you know, the state of their marriage and everything like that. And how she pretty much, you know, she wants to then give it one last go before they just call it quits. Now, Ava, you know, um, Nick is like, Oh, I thought you were sitting there talking about moving back in or whatever. And he was like, well, I mean, if I did, I can move in, right? He's like, yeah, but, you know, I got a, I got a Spencer here, and it's already, you know, it's a lot of tension and everything like that. And so I, you know, I, I think we just take things kind of slow. You know, just, just take it nice and slow. 
So no rush. I mean, I know Uncle Victor is being Victor. But just no rush, you know, whatever. And then Liz comes over. Now, Liz was, I guess she went to the hospital. She saw Finn. Finn took one look at her and was like, ugh. I mean, he didn't say that, but he just looked at her and just made a beeline away from her as fast as he could. And now she's upset. And she goes to the next place. And she sees Ava. She just walks on in. Because she got a key. And Ava's like, oh, you're here. And you just, and you got a, you got a key to the whole castle, don't you? You just, and of course, you know, Liz is like, well, you know, Aiden, you know, family tree and everything like that. Nick, Nicholas decided to help out and everything. So, yeah, I feel like at some point I'm going to get Nicholas is confused because I call him Nick on YNR Nick. And here I call him Nicholas. Yeah, so that's going to happen eventually. Um, well, of course, Nick is like, hey, you know, Liz, you know, this is a really good time right now. And it was like, no, no, no it's fine. It's fine. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon. She leaves. Now Liz tells her Liz tells him everything about the fake affair, the pregnancy, Finn getting too close, so she had to come up with something. Um and at first Liz is like, Well, I, I want to tell the truth, but you know, Nick talks her out of it. It's like, no, you know, you can go to jail, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, You didn't care about her going to jail, you didn't care about her freedom when you when you first needed a nurse. And for some odd reason, even though that you're rich and you could have just, I don't know, called anyone, you decide to call your old gal pal Liz. You know, the one with three boys that you that you mentioned to make sure that she didn't tell Finn the truth. But then here's the thing. It's about sacrifice. And the minute that they talk about Ava and this whole thing being exposed, Liz is like, you can't keep this up. You can't. You know, you, you can't have your cake and eat it too with, with Esme and the baby and you, you know, reconciling with, um, you know, with Ava. You, you can't do it all. He, he just has that look on his face like, like, she's right. I don't want to admit she's right, but she's right. Now, while um, Gregory, no, not Gregory, George, it's Gregory, yeah. What the hell is what's George? Anyway, Gregory and Alexa are ha hanging out, and you know Alexa's got to sit there and set, set set some rules. Um, they're talking about the investigation and how she has a contact in the PCP, you know, PC um, Port Charles Police, and you know Gregory's like, oh, you know, you got to be careful to use it about you know. Integrity and crossing the line and blending the line. This is time the third. Bottom line, Alexis just had enough. Now, this is just so backwards for so many reasons. Because I'm just like, why are you just now? Why are you telling this? Why are you telling him this now? She's pretty much like, yo, listen. If I want your advice, I'll ask for it. I get you're a teacher and you're a lecturer and stuff like that. And you know, she was then to talk about you know in the beginning you know a little banter or whatever, and it was all fun. And I was like. Who was it fun for? Because I remember, you know, Hemsmith did constantly telling her, oh, well, you know, I, I don't know about your ethics and your morals with your newspaper and, you know, your integrity and this, that, and the third. And I was like, bro, I don't remember her asking you once, you know, your opinion and, and why your opinion should matter and, you know, you judging her and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, I don't care if, bro, you're a professor, you're, you're a teacher. Okay, she is a journalist. Let her do her thing. She doesn't come in your class <clears throat> and start telling you how to teach. So you need to sit there and stop telling her how to do her job. And they're in the bar. And now she's like, hey, you know, listen, you know, for our friendship or whatever, let's just, you know, let's just not do the whole lecturing. I'm like, there's a particular reason why you could sit there and say that. I don't know in the beginning. No. We just had to sit there and listen to this man constantly lecture this woman about her job. Awesome. Wish I had a damn DeLorean. Um, 
Finn comes in there and, you know, he just, he, he wants to drink and, you know, both of them, you know, Gregory and, and, and Alexis check on him and Gregory goes to do something because Alexis sent him on an errand because she wants to talk to him. And she starts saying stuff like, you know, um, you don't want to drink this, that, and the third. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about N.A., um, but he's in N.A., and apparently he can't drink because even though he's not in A.A., there's some sort of reason, and I'm not going to sit there and bother to get into it. Not because I don't think it's important, but because I don't really know A.A. and N.A. There, there's some sort of reason why he can't drink. Um, just just Google it um, to find out because I'm not going to sit there and give medical misinformation. Um, anyway, she stops him from drinking. He leaves. He, you know, um, comes across Ava. He's like super awkward. He says something. Then he says, Ava, good night. And then that's about it. Um... I don't get the purpose of what Austin was trying to do. I mean, was he really so insecure because a bunch of other people was like, oh, I don't think you should be with Maxi. This day and the third. Now, granted, Maxi wasn't there talking to um, Britt um, after the party, you know, after them talking about the birthday party, or whatever. And Austin was like, you know, I got, I mean, um, Maxi was like, you know, I got to sit there and see what's going on because, you know, no one really likes Austin. And it wouldn't be so much of a big deal, but, you know, the last time I put so much faith in a man, and <clears throat> everyone was telling me to stay away from him, he was Peter. Now, Austin had Spinelli run the test, and they, they get into a back and forth. I mean, again, I find this whole test to be kind of stupid, and even he was like, you know, even Spinelli was like, are you that insecure or whatever? They go back and forth. And then Spinelli was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm telling the truth. My integrity means more to me than, you know, jail time or anything else. So he, he starts to make a beeline to Maxie. And Maxie and Britt catches them fighting over the letter, which, you know, conveniently, you know, slides right into Maxie's path. Now, the truth is out. Britt knows about society set up and everything. And, you know, Spinelli is like, yeah, you know, um, I ran the test or whatever. Austin known up to it. Austin was like, yeah, I, I blackmailed him and ended doing it. And at that point, Maxie was pissed. She let him have it a little bit. And then she walked off and Spinelli walked off right along with him. Um. Uh, you know, this is after Max was like, you know, why would you sit there and go behind my back and do anything like that? But on top of that, why are you listening to everyone? You know, why are you allowing all these other people in your ear? If I'm with you, I'm with you. Like, you don't need to sit there and run a test. And on top of that, you're going to blackmail Spinelli, the, 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 the father of her child, her best friend. Like, she felt like that was a line that was just, you know, it, she he crossed the line. And it was just like, you know what? Um, I mean, granted, she didn't sit there and like break up with him or anything like that, but she was just like, I can't even look at you right now. Like that that was that was the emotion that I was at the beginning from her. So when she took a beeline, she left, Austin was like, Any advice? And Britt was like, Yeah, um, no, pretty much. I don't know exactly what she said, but it, it really wasn't a lot of advice and he just kinda stood there looking stupid. Um, the sad part is that this is only half of what Austin is doing. Now there's this whole other shady world that's going on. With Austin working with some shady woman and his guy named, you know, his cousin named Mason that keeps calling him cuz. So this is only half of it. Only half of it. <coughs> the sad part is that I felt like we haven't seen him in three weeks. And while this argument seemed like it was actually important, we may not have seen him for another three weeks. 
and we forgot all about it. Just like we did with the damn hook killer. Um, I think the last scene is with Sonny and Nina. And this is another one of those scenes where it's like, if you like Sonny and Nina, you're going to like this scene. If you didn't like Sonny and Nina, you're just going to wind up skipping past it. All, it, all it. all they really do is talk about Donna and how Nina doesn't want to get too close. <clears throat> you know, she doesn't want to sit there and feel like she's latching on to somebody else's child. Which is kind of odd because, well, no, no, I, I take that back because Charlie is a different case. Um, but in, yeah, in reality, she just, she doesn't want to sit there and get herself too attached, make the same mistakes that she did with Wiley. And so she's like, you know, for right now, I'll just be her friend. I won't be like her stepmom. And I think Donna made a picture and it said, mommy. And when Nina saw that, she probably thought that Donna made the picture for her. But in reality, since it was blonde hair or whatever, it could have just been Carmen. And that's about it. And, you know, they run around and they kiss and that's pretty much about it. It was literally, you know, sad part is that Sonny is my favorite character. And yet he was thrown in the most useless, pointless, boring scene throughout this entire episode, because this episode was actually pretty good. His scenes, on the other hand, wasn't, and um, that's a shame. I think that's about it. All in all, this was a good episode, minus the Sunny and Nina stuff, but all in all, it was a good episode, so with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching, be safe, and I will see you in the next video.